How do you visualize your layouts in a native script application on iOS and Android when you're developing? Shiva Prasad is here to tell us how. All right, folks, in this video, Shiva Prasad has sent us another useful tip on how to visualize your layouts. Whether you're developing on iOS or Android, this is a really useful tip for UI debugging, so you can check it out. And by the way, notice that we're outside. It's a really beautiful day. If you're a developer and you're sitting there all day, I recommend you get out and take a few steps, walk around, especially if you have a nice day like this. All right, I'll see you when the video ends. Here's Shiva. Hi folks, Shiva here and in today's video I'm going to show you some cool tips with which you can improve your layout experience in NativeScript. So this uh, first tip applies only to Android but then um, I'll also show you something which you can use in iOS as well. Uh, on your Android device you can go to settings, uh, system, developer options and you can go to quick settings, developer tiles and turn on show layout bounds. And now uh, when you turn on your quick settings you can see a new option in there. Uh, if you don't see this, you can just go to edit and then it should be down there and you can drag it up there. Uh, so once you enable show layout bounds, you can see that now you can magically see how uh, each layout looks like. You can go to settings and you can see how those layouts were built. You can see the bounds for every single layout in uh, almost all the apps on your phone except some games and stuff. So now let's come back to our demo application here. So today we are trying to debug this layout um, which doesn't look pretty aligned. So if I turn off the layout bounds you can see uh, it's not properly aligned. So I'm going to take help of show layout bounds to achieve this. Uh, first let's look at the top part. I want this name to be aligned with this input field. So in the code I can just go uh, vertical alignment center and check that now the name is center aligned and you can add some classes Let's say I'll add a class of h2 and mr20 okay as you can see uh, when I add a class of h2 it also gets a little bit of uh, margin at the bottom so maybe we can just go with t25 and that looks right so we were able to align that let's also give some uh, border radius 20 and then now uh, we can give a p uh, x sorry y 10 and you can see that now the name and the input field is properly aligned if i turn off the layout bounds you can see that it's nicely aligned and we know that it's aligned for sure. Next up, we have this card down here uh, where we want to align the uh, image to the top and we want to uh, make these labels here align properly and also not have so much space around it. So let's look at the layout and see what's going on here. Let's also turn on the debug, uh, debug borders, show layout bounds. And now you can see that the image here is taking up this whole area. So what I'm gonna do is first I'll add vertical alignment top to it and now the image is only taking up that much space which is good and you can see that the second label has a little bit of margin on the left side anything that you see in pink here is the margin so let's look at that one here it is oh and indeed it has a margin left 10 on it so if I remove that now it's all aligned properly and let's also put a px20 py5 on these labels you can see that they all have padding 20 right now that's why they're taking up this much space anything any white space that you see between uh, the content and the border is the padding so if i change the speed 20 to that much you can see that it's uh, much nicer now and uh, now let's look at these buttons you can see that the outline button has a little bit of padding kind of thing at the top uh, that's actually not padding so whenever you see a white area between the outer uh, border like this and the pink area, uh, that is because this item has a set height. So if I go and set this height to auto, you can see that now the uh, now it's taking up the full area. 
which is fine and over here there is some area between the margin and the uh, button itself now this is another case where actually there is this layout bound and then you can see that there's a white space here this is actually not the padding but also here there is like let's set the height to auto here again uh, it's not going away because that's not because of the set height it's actually because of uh, a native button thing in native scripts so when you tap on this can you see that shadow that comes at the bottom that's because like it has some kind of effect on it so if you set the border width to one then you can see that that goes away now it's taking up exactly that area uh, now you can see that it's all nicely aligned but let's uh, turn off the show layout bounds now and you can see that now it's properly aligned now uh, if you have ios uh, if you work on ios then you won't be able to do this but there is another way for you you can just go to your css file and put a css like this star photo with one and by doing that everything in your layout will get a border around it and now you can visualize what's going on now you can see that the image is taking up that area labels are taking up these areas and and so on so that was my quick tip on how to debug your layouts properly in native script uh thank you for watching all right thanks shiva that was awesome as usual thanks for sending that over all the way from new zealand Folks, if you want more tips like this one, like the ones I usually share on the channel and the one that you saw from Shiva just now, make sure you subscribe to this channel to get more tips, tricks, and tutorials on NativeScript. And you can follow me on Twitter. I'm at Digitalix over there. And I will see you in the next one. Get outside, okay?